Hello and welcome to the Death Battle Cast, the show where I wear a colored shirt. I'm Ben, and I'm joined, of course, by uh, my lovely co-host, Chad. I'm There's back! Chad. I missed you guys. Did you miss me? Oh. We did. I don't, I don't know what <laughs> you're talking about. I was talking to the people watching. I didn't miss y'all. Yeah, no, when were you? Where were? I don't. I don't remember you ever being gone, Luis. You're back, oh. Luis. Yeah, I'm oh, back. We okay. missed you, <laughs> yeah, Aaron. Oh back, my gosh, man. you're back, Aaron. Aaron. Hello. And Nick. It's so long. And our favorite friend, Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, and then Smash Brothers. The, Once again, uh, second time I've tried to go for this bit, and I get betrayed by the screen dimming feature yet again. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's second me out. time. <laughs> the only thing that's saturated and colorful. Hi, how's it going? I'm in Smash. <laughs> Once again. Yep. Once again. Um, <laughs> we we have we have brought back Smash Brothers for today's community death battle because um, you may not have noticed this, but we aren't. Well. We might be live when you're watching this, but we're not technically live. We're doing this pre-recorded because it is Thanksgiving week. Woo, and a lot of us Woo. are going to be gone. So, uh, and I was like, guys, I can't miss another Death Battle past. cast. Can we please re <laughs> Can we please pre-record yes. it? Yes. So <laughs> we are doing time travel. I see you in the chat today. I see you <laughs> recording this I... in the past, talking to you in the in the present, um, <laughs> airing in the future. Anyway, uh, so because we're not going to be able to do a vote today. Um, we have no vote in the chat. Um, no vote. In that November. also means we should not get votes either. So what we're going to end up doing for today's um, community death battle is all the votes are coming from one source: Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> it we hasn't are going us before. So and, and we have done this once before, and it kind of worked. So we're doing it again. Um, today we are doing Pac Man versus luigi uh as suggested by uh, squiddy in the champions ballot on the uh death battle uh discord if you haven't checked that out we have a new champions ballot uh a part two open um where you can submit ideas for the upcoming vote yep we are going to be uh getting to that vote for uh the members decided uh episode for next season's death battle very soon we're we're getting close to that so um get your ideas in the ballot we're gonna have our our fireside chat coming up uh at the uh uh, uh on the 30th of this month november 30th and there will be kind of like talking more about some of the matches requested we're not going to be able to get to all of them in the fireside chat because there's no, there are hundreds so just there are yeah. already hundreds and i know you guys are going to submit more <laughs> uh, but don't worry we are looking at all of them we I say it like that because it's a lot of yeah, time. We, <laughs> yeah. we are looking at all of them. Um, our fireside chat on the 30th is going to be a two hour special, which again, we won't be able to get it to everything, but you know, just get to a few more. Uh, and yeah. then we also, not live, but on the side, uh, a group of us have been going through every single uh, matchup submitted to the ballot, and we will be posting those videos at a time, probably beginning of December, uh, for, for our members to, to watch us go through uh, all the suggestions. So you can look forward to uh, listening to me not know a bunch of anime characters <laughs> is kind of the theme so far of that video series. <laughs> well, that's why we have a pretty good, well-versed overall team of people from all Different fandoms. Different fandoms. Yeah, nerddom. Yeah, different fandoms. I that's, got you. that's a better way to say it. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm here to make spreadsheets and shit. I'm not here to know <laughs> well, the characters. Well, Aaron, today you are also here to argue for Pac-Man, right? I am. Okay. Yes. Okay. And Nick, you are here to argue uh, for everyone's favorite second son, right? That's right. Yes, the Luigi. Keep an eye on him though, because he's controlling Smash right now. So like, it's the well, computers, but like. Well, I I mean I, I am, but not for long. Let's let's go ahead and pull up it's Nick's screen be in and, God's and, and see what we've got for the Smash Brothers here, um, because we we got to get these two uh this, this fight started here. We have we have to get the votes in. All right, let's go ahead and move over to Smash Brothers. Um, right, and start. Okay, so well 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 real quick. Let's clarify what the rules are in your Smash Brothers setup. You have them both at level nine. 
right? Uh, yes, they're both at level nine. Uh, beyond that, I cannot guarantee any one single setting. I just know that I saved the preset from last time as WA, and that's what I selected today. So whatever we had last time, same thing. I think it's gonna be like smash balls, um, items on medium, just on the default setting there, and final smash meters on. We're gonna be flip-flopping between their two stages. We've got the Microsoft Paint level that Pac-Man got for some reason, and Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> so it's gonna be doing the stage more feature between those two, and, and there is go. no time limit. It is infinite time. So it is at infinite the time. End it only ends when we say it does. The show, whichever one has the most KOs, wins the debate. Yep. Which kind of make uh, makes our jobs as hosts completely pointless. But hey, so, we're here. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> exactly. You know, so I'm, does I'm our argument mean anything? You, yes, uh, I'm sure Smash Brothers is listening to us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if we motivate the characters, sure. they will actually do better in the game. Yeah, well, oh my god, I we'll forgot. Say, Luigi went hard right stage. out the gate trying to get him off screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, just, what There's is a risky right? game you're playing? Go Why is right? Luigi up Come in the here. fire hydrant? Come over here. Pac-Man wasn't oh even god. close. Why are they That's fighting dangerous. over there? Over here. Uh, this, this map is just a bloodbath for these little is... computers, oh, huh? Oh no. Well, alright. If, if you are listening to the audio version of this or watching or keeping this on a, oh another tab god. while you're doing something else, Right now, um, Luigi's beating some ass. <laughs> yeah, Luigi's just punching. Yeah. On Pac Man stage, no one was. Pac a lot. <laughs> All right, Nick. Gosh. Oh, God. Let's start with you. Me? Let's start with you while we're watching your Smash Brothers in the background. Uh, oh, and okay, totally okay. not I'll, getting distracted. I'll stay over here because they insist on being on screen left. Um, 60 seconds un uninterrupted. Luigi, why does he win? Well, Luigi, as we all know, is Mario, but green and better. Uh, see, he jumps <laughs> higher than Mario. He may be portrayed as a coward, but he does things that Mario does not, uh, including getting pooped on by your pet bird who just decided to come visit. Uh, so Luigi, just to give you an idea of how crazy strong he is without any insane power-ups, I did a calculation before this podcast recording, which is totally live right now, and I see you, chat. Yes, you. Yes, you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, I determined that based on the strength it takes to break one brick, which from what I can gather is about 63,000 Newtons, to break a block that is half the size of Luigi in Super Mario Brothers 1, which is about 24 bricks or so by my count, that, that equates to 1.5 million Newtons. And just for reference, the world record for jet engine thrust is 570,000 Newtons. This is before he gets the invincibility stars or the metal cap, with both of which he's capable of having. This is before he gets any power up whatever. This is just him as a regular guy, a guy who can lift Larry's castle and drop kick it like crazy. And you're so uh, out of time. I, okay. <laughs> then I wasn't hey, I wasn't keeping track. It's okay. We'll get keep track. So uh, thank you for stopping. I'm about me. to vote uh, for Pac-Man just because your birds keep screaming in the background. You can hear Oh, they I also can hear that. Uh, you can hear that because I'm I'm not running the RTX voice thing or whatever that filters all that crap yeah. out. So whenever I'm talking, they think I'm talking to them and they want to contribute. So I'm sorry in advance. Well, one of them, I couldn't tell which one it was, was crawling was up the Luba mic because, well, I couldn't tell who it was because they were mostly invisible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the thing of being green. Like green, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> green cheek Conyers. <laughs> which where, is great. Where's the least obtrusive place for me to be besides anywhere? I'll just be up here. <laughs> nope, even that's not working. Neat. Okay. This is the best, this is the best episode to listen Nick, to the podcast yeah. only. Yeah, yep. put yourself <laughs> upside down in the center. That way we can okay. see the numbers. And that's all that matters. That's all that people okay. come to Death Battle for, right? Just numbers. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to sound upside down and too centralized for the audio listeners, who I'm now taking into account to the best of my ability. Okay. I, I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure it'll okay. be fine. I'm sure they will okay. understand. Uh, okay. All right, let's, Aaron. Let's pray. Are you ready to talk about Pac-Man for sixty seconds? Sure am, and I will right. keep it to sixty seconds. Let's Ooh. do it. <laughs> All okay. right, whenever you're ready. Yeah. All right. So Pac-Man, he is the classic yellow ball of a hero that we all know from the classic 1980s arcade game. But he's not just from the arcade game. In the 42 years since the initial game's release, there has been consistent game releases over, over the years. There have been TV shows, movie appearances, uh, board games, card games, being in Smash Brothers. And he even has a Minecraft DLC, which I learned today. Needless to say, that is a lot of content to sift through to get through, like, you know, all the abilities that he possibly has. 
Um, but, you know, just for starters, you know, there's a standard like pack pellets that he can throw. He can uh, use a hammer, which can entirely smash enemies. He can fire lasers. He can create shockwaves. He can consume ghosts. He can tank explosions. He can survive in outer space without getting crushed to death. Um, and then that's not even getting into all the abilities that he has when he consumes different power berries, which I'm going to be very excited to get into for the rest of this cast. Love it. What a great Most... professional keeping it at 60 <laughs> seconds job there, Aaron. Thank you. Also, keeping um, track of that time. Wow. Also, for all the old old school screw attack people, I'm just going to say the following for Pac-Man. Smash that tree. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Wow. That is, <laughs> a, that, tree. that is a deep cut. <laughs> Smash remember that the tree. time we made a horror short that was secretly Pac -Man Pac -Man no, that was real, us? Ben. <laughs> or, are, or are we breaking... I was NDA so proud of that <laughs> for the time. Yeah. Like, oh, that's right. We had, we had a, that's right. I forgot. We had like a, an agreement to never talk about it. Yeah. It's, it's long. <laughs> so broke it. A decade many, later, many I people, broke it. <laughs> the many, many people who have no idea what we're talking about. Long story short, all you really need to know is we made a, a skit video back in the day. I was very much inspired by Cloverfield and it was a giant uh monster attacking us the monster was an amalgamation of pac-man and zangief from street fighter <laughs> called him pat geef yep that's the end of the story we treated it very seriously <laughs> in the video well there's, there, there is more to it uh destin I mean, wasn't able to that make it forever that was yeah, so De much fun. destin wasn't able to make it that day so we we released it on halloween i think yeah um Something and like uh, there was a stupid gimmick where at the end of it, all of us were dead or disappeared. And this, this graphic came up that said it had automatically uploaded to the internet. Yeah. Right. Auto upload uh, and then, doesn't make any sense. And it was yeah, lead what, speak for Pat Geef, by the way. Yes. Yes. The, the file name. Um, and then, but Destin wasn't in the video. Uh, Destin works for IGN now. Um, uh, uh, or has been for a while. Uh, but he was part of screw attack at the time. And he wasn't in the video because he wasn't able to make it. And then the next day, he there was like massive traffic outside so, of his place, right? So, well, this is okay. This is so crazy. So he, we told him he was playing along by like tweeting out some stuff about like, has anyone been able to get a hold of the guys? I can't get a hold of them. Right. You we, know what happened? We had gone dark online. And the then he us tells dark. us. He messages us, and he's like, guys, I don't know what happened on thirty five but it's more traffic than I've ever seen in my life. It looks like a post-apocalyptic scenario, right? And he was like, I'm kind of thinking about going and filming something on the bridge of 35. And we were all like, do it, do it. And so he goes and he does it in the background. I mean, it's like, so it looks like, like, like a multi-million dollar, like movie production, what you would expect, like people. It was like a siren a going off. It was like, like yeah, sirens yeah. going off. Brake lights as far as you can see cars on both sides of the high. It's like, it's also like really foggy outside. It's it just looks like crap, and that's when it went a little too far. Because at first we were like, "This is funny," and then Dustin did that, and some people actually got concerned because like they knew we didn't have the budget to pull that shit off. Because <laughs> he's like, "I've been trying to reach out to everybody, nobody's responding. What's going on?" Yeah, and we were dark the whole weekend. It was great. It was it was really fun. <laughs> anyway, tangent. <laughs> That's just good old Austin why traffic. Why Luigi's huh? gonna be Pac-Man? This was up in Dallas at the time. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. would have been easier if we were in Austin. Like we would have been able to plan for that. <laughs> yeah, just go to that weird where everything, all the, where all the highways intersect and there's traffic yeah. 24/7. Yeah. See, so you said 35, and it's just like, oh, yeah. the worst yeah. road in all of yep. Austin. Yep. 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 This yep. was like 45 minutes or so north of downtown Dallas, so mm. it really had no reason being that that jammed um, under normal circumstances. But anyway. Uh, Luigi versus Pac-Man. What were we talking about? <laughs> yeah, Luigi. Uh, a debate how, that's not going to matter because well, how's how's Smash, Smash Brothers, Brothers going? Let's go. Let's go to Smash Brothers real quick and see after those rundowns of the characters. Um, oh, it, how it is a bloodbath out here. We've got. Uh, you, I don't, I can't, I'm not going to commit. Well, Pac-Man um, just got a kill <laughs> as soon as you said that. So pretty good timing. And oh, and then Luigi as soon as we switch to his stage, he caught it. Does a dice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean he's got home field advantage at the moment um but ashley or whatever her name is is really really doing some work i don't know how her name is. i just made up ashley <laughs> that, that um, is her name ashley really i just yes. made that were up you, on the spot okay. you completely you just picked a random female name maybe and got maybe exactly in right. the back of my mind <laughs> like my subconscious knew, knew subconscious. her name but yeah. i just said it like thinking I, it was not her name <laughs> deep down you knew you guys All ever right. been dookied on by an invisible bird <laughs> just 
making conversation. Not, anyway, um, so Luigi versus Pac Man. Maybe maybe we talk about that a little bit, huh? Probably. Oh, we're watching. Yeah. I mean, go ahead. No, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're the one representing Luigi. Um. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, like, I I wanted to talk about the uh, calculation that I did in the the totally sixty second rundown thing that I gave him. Mm -hmm. uh, I think 1.5 million newtons is probably a very conservative uh, number for like just how strong this skinny Mario is. Um, just because it's also worth pointing out the the people that he's defeated, including Bowser, who uh, was buffed up by the Grand Stars. And the Grand Stars, if you don't know, I'm reading my notes here, can create matter erasing dark matter and fly across the universe in a very short amount of time. It's unclear how much time it is, but uh, to kind of probably lowball it at like an hour, that's still like 4.08 times 10 to the 14th times light speed. Luigi has defeated this. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about what Pac-Man's canonically gone, gone up against because I don't know anything about Pac-Man canon. Um, but uh, maybe Aaron can fill us in a little bit on just a little I'm bit. I'm sure of, he's done a lot of stuff. Pac-Man Pac and the Ghostly Adventures. I, I, oh, I'm sure yeah. honestly, yeah, Pac-Man's weird. So there's a lot of cartoons in 3D games, right? That there is, yeah. Build out a world. Is there a Pac yeah, World? There's Pac-Man World, Pac-Man World Two, Pac-Man World Three. Although three is a really rare game to get your hands on these days. Um, just so sad because I, I, I know I had a copy when I was younger, but it's lost to time. Um, but yeah, there's there's several games. There's also more recent 3D games. Uh, the Ghost, sorry, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, which was both a uh, CG uh, animated TV show for Disney XD as well as its own standalone video game. Um, and it's when did, where... that, when did when did that show air? Uh, it Within was the last 2013 decade, to 2015. How, how like... the heck is there a Pac-Man show in? Like the, the the 2010s. How does that even yeah. happen? Who's, yeah. Who cares? They're supposed to be working on a Mega Man show and movie. Know, so yeah, because it was Bandai Namco uh, did mm -hmm. the game, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah. we were out at some. It was probably I think it was E3. We were out at E3 around that time, and we got pulled into the like their their room where they were showing off their the new games. And I remember we did a whole little thing on that, and then the show came out. It's one of those tie-ins. I think it was the show to promote the game. Yeah. Or was it? Yeah, there were a lot of uh, Pac Man games that were on that uh, generation of like, you know, PlayStation 2, Xbox 360. Um, and it's in those that you find a lot of more of his like feats. Um, he, as I mentioned before, he's been able to tank uh, pretty big explosions in Pac Man worlds. Uh, you go through these little mini games, and one of them is. Uh, going through this maze, because of course it's Pac-Man, on a, a small metallic planet, and at the end it actually explodes. The whole planet explodes. And Pac-Man's fine. In fact, it cuts, and I should have gotten this screen cap, uh, I ran out of time, but it cuts to him with a gleeful smile on his face, floating through space from <laughs> this planet, <laughs> exploding. And then it's him merrily riding along on asteroids through space what uh yeah so it, he survives an entire planet exploding he can survive being out in space just as himself and then he rides on asteroids which i don't have the number in front of me um, well, that seems pretty those significant go very right? fast <laughs> yeah. okay. those go yeah. very okay. fast in space <laughs> Yeah, I got a question though. How close to a black hole has Pac-Man gotten and survived? I do not know about any black holes. Because well, Mario Galaxy has many black holes. A black hole, if he gets too close, it will still kill him. But uh, I don't have a great visual on hand right now. But like, the Mario Brothers get awfully close to those things, and yep. they're uh, they're fine. Like they they jump over gaps in a. Uh, uh, like the the planets, little planetoids that have black holes in the center of them, they jump over those gaps and don't get pulled in uh, or damaged in any way. So, I, well, that I, sounds I like that might not be a true black hole. Yeah, <laughs> kind of does. They're, they're um, black holes. <laughs> black Aaron, holes, Chad. what is that? 
we're, we might be jumping a little ahead here for Pac-Man, but what is that thing next to him when he turns into a planet? Is that not a black hole? Uh, yeah, we can we can get into that. Um, so as I mentioned, there are a lot of different power berries that he can consume. There's ones from the original games, there's one from the 3D games, and then there's a lot that show up in, in the, the 3D animated show. Uh, and it's kind of, it's, it's a pretty high level one, uh, but we can go ahead and pull it up, Mike, if you can pull up Pac-Man Planet. All right, so there is a planet oh berry <laughs> that Pac-Man can consume, and it turns him into a planet. He turns into a planet that is as big as Pac-World, which is their, their, their home planet. He has his own gravitational force, and he turns into this planet because there is a ghost droid or ghost asteroid that's going <laughs> that's coming to destroy their planet. Which They're like the obvious solution Saturn is inspired? to <laughs> Yeah, and that's the thing too is that they call it a ghost, ghost droid, Saturn. but it has its own asteroid belt, so it's probably more accurate to call it like a like a small planet, like a tiny planet, because most asteroids don't have enough gravitational pull to have their own belt, which this one clearly does. So yeah, the solution is, okay, we'll have Pac-Man consume the planet berry, which the scientist guy in the show just has, presumably would have many more just available, <laughs> and eats this asteroid, which the show That's specifically awesome. says is large enough that if it had, you know, collided with Pac-World would call, would cause, they literally called the show an extinction level event. So the solution is Pac-Man just casually turns into a planet, has its own gravitational field, pulls in the ghost droid, and eats it. What the heck is going on? Can we <laughs> go back to the ridiculous. image? Because what it looks so strange. What am I Okay. <laughs> so 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 wait, wait, wait. Turns the, it into the goo. Order... His mouth okay. is terrifying looking. It's all like stretched and weird. He has mountain yeah, cat or... ears, and then he has an ice. Those are just cream his eyebrows. Cone? I think I oh, think sorry, sorry. it does. It does look like an ice cream cone, but I think it's supposed to be like a mountain, like the snowy peaks on a mountain. Yeah, it's his nose, but it's a big old mountain. Yeah. But, but it's like a revert. It's okay. Pac Man's been doing a lot of coke. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know that explains some things. Um, okay, so yeah, I have I questions. Watched, yeah, I watched a bit of this show. It's meant for kids. I watched a little bit of it to prep for this cast. It is so strange. It is a very weird mm. show. I've seen a few episodes because Logan is will it, watch them and I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Is it meant for kids or is it meant for people who are extremely high? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, it's all about eating food. He loves to eat. <laughs> I guess so. Get I guess he, I get bit of he loves to, There's like uh, a whole episode where he like can't get full and it's like, it's, uh, it's disturbing. I guess he loves yeah. to eat some uncommon goods, just it, like I mean, our sponsor, Uncommon Goods. Well, hey. Hey, I Look got it. Okay. Oh, I thought they were second. <laughs> I had a great segue teed up for the other one. No, you, ha you, have, the, you have the second one. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll save it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, like I said, this episode is sponsored by Uncommon Goods. If you want to avoid boring, basic, and bland gifts this year, Uncommon Goods is your secret weapon. Uncommon Goods is here to make your holiday shopping stress-free by scouring the globe for the most remarkable and truly unique gifts for everyone on your list. Whether you're shopping for your secret Santa or your entire family, Uncommon Goods knows exactly what they want. When you shop at Uncommon Goods, you're supporting artists and small independent businesses. And Uncommon Goods looks for products that are high quality, unique, and often handmade or at least made in the U.S. Uncommon Goods has the most meaningful, out-of-the-ordinary gifts anywhere, often made in small batches, so shop now before they sell out this holiday season. To get 15% off your next gift, go to UncommonGoods.com slash DBC. That's UncommonGoods.com slash DBC for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited-time offer. Uncommon Goods. We're all out of ordinary. That sounds ordinary. awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I am one of those people that's like, I'll be like, I'll have like one like amazing gift idea for someone, like for like my daughter or my son or like maybe both of them or like, or like my wife, but then I'll have this moment where I'm just like, 
but what do I get everyone there's, else? <laughs> there's always at least somebody or multiple somebodies that you're like, it's like gift card. Ugh. I know, right? It's like you yeah. have that light bulb moment, right? For like the one gift or something, but then you're like, oh, but I want to do that for, for everyone. I want it to be unique and cool. And this sounds like it's a really good solution for that. Yes. Yeah, I I popped up in their website when I saw the the ad copy come in because I hadn't heard them before. So I was like, who are these guys? And yeah, like there there is a bunch of really cool stuff on there. I was just scrolling and they have it. They they also like break it out into categories for you. So, you know, you can shop for dads or shop for a coworker or blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. They got some really cool uh, handmade stuff in there as well. Definitely check them out. That's um, I'm using our own code, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. But uh, speaking of out of the ordinary, Aaron, mm -hmm. I have one really big question for Pac-Man. Yes. What the hell is Pac-Man? Because if, if we have this whole, I can't, I have such a hard time wrapping my head around the idea of Pac-Man world. Because if there's a world and a universe, how does Pac-Man mm -hmm. fit into this? Is he like Kirby, this ball that fell from space into the planet and has no explanation? Or are there other Pac-Men? What there is are, going there on? Other pack people. There are other Pac people, and they come from the planet Pac world. Yeah, he's got a like he's got a stoner friend. What's that guy's yeah. name? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. The, the one with all the is that why he's got all the white on his nose? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> uh, okay. As, yeah, they, as they live they on they planet pack ghosts? world. Yeah, they live on planet just what pack they... world. There's a bunch of oh, no, other pack people with their own kind of pack names. A lot of them are puns. And oh, yeah. then what's the emo the... girl's name? I, Wait, there's an emo I pack. Know. I watched emo like three episodes. Emo pack so, person. Cylindria. That's her name. Yeah, the the ghosts are kind of the antagonists. Although there are actually good ghosts in the show as well. There's ghosts that help Pac-Man, and then there's the antagonistic ghosts. And the antagonistic ghosts live under Pac-World's planet's surface, but they want to take over the surface world. And that's that's the that's the point of tension for the show. So the ghosts are mole people? But if you think about it, it kind of makes sense. You look back at the original game, they were like stuck in the box and then they're trying to break out. And when you get them, they go back down into the box, right? Even though it was kind of in the center. I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I don't think I ever address it, but like, I guess it would make sense if on Pac World, the culture is still to bury your dead if ghosts just end up being underground. Here's, here's my question about Pac Man, right? So, like, he needs the pellet to eat the ghost, right? That's mm -hmm. the only way he can eat the ghost. But like, there's not is there any way that he can just eat luigi because i mean he's not a ghost right so you wouldn't need the pellet right well he like, does eat lots of other things right normally right. they're framed as like eat this thing for a power-up but because of that he does eat spaceships race cars hammers that seems like it fire, would be a lot, it, a lot harder <laughs> that seems like it would be a lot harder than eating a luigi the same a race car so yeah, yeah, so, for yeah. sure. Does he yeah. does he need the pellet to eat the ghosts just because ghosts are immaterial? Is that is that all it is? I think that is the implication, right? So he Luigi can only has a way to deal with anything those. physical, so. no power ups needed. Right. Yeah. What, it's kind of is... different depending on the, the, the game or show that you're looking at. But generally, yeah, it's a he he eats the power pellet and that gives him the ability to consume ghosts which are otherwise immaterial. Okay. So without the power pellet, does the power pellet increase his ability to consume things that aren't ghosts? I don't think so. I think the pellet no. just allows him to consume the ethereal, but everything else he still consumes pretty. So he doesn't even need a power pellet to fight Luigi. He Correct. Just... <laughs> the fight begins and he just tries to eat him. <laughs> but a power pellet does make him invincible, right? Yes. I mean... Does it? Sp specifically well, against the, ghosts, I yeah, guess. Yeah, the only things that we have to measure that against are ghosts, which Luigi's got a way to do. I mean, I know this is the connecting thread here, but Luigi's vacuum is powerful enough that it can absolutely contain the ethereal, like we said. It contains ghosts, and but it also, it also has plenty of real-life uses as well. It can um, suck things up and shoot them back out with tremendous speed. It can uh, shoot fire and I think ice, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I didn't bring that up earlier because obviously he's Luigi. He's got a way to just shoot fire straight out of his own hands. 
Uh, same goes for ice as well. Um, I, I do want to bring up, there is a burp. Yeah, burp. <laughs> this is Jinjo. So sorry. He's trying to contribute. I forget that he's not getting filtered out. So I'm going to put him over on top of the monitor. He doesn't want to go. Okay. Anyway, invisible bird. Here we go. Um, so he, uh, in, in Mario Galaxy, he fought Bowser by redirecting meteors at him using nothing but his butt. Okay, so ground so, pounds oh, meteors. Okay, okay Strong, now we're, like, now with we're enough, getting somewhere. With enough okay. force to redirect them into Bowser and damage him. That and we talked about Bowser on this meteor. show before yeah. and recently. We know how strong he is. Bowser himself withstands black holes. Like he's partially inside of a black hole at one point, fighting his way out of it. That's the kind of thing that Luigi has dealt with time and time and time again. And I think if Pac-Man is going to be a serious threat to him, I think he has to kind of provably measure up to Bowser in some way. That's, that's just what I think. But uh, what, what don't, say don't you? Don't end your argument on that's just what I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were doing my, so good up until that moment. Here's the question. But Mario I think the defeats truth. Bowser all the time. Whenever Luigi typically beats Bowser, it's like a non-canon alternate telling, right? Mm, not necessarily, because immediately I think of uh, Super Mario 64 DS. Uh, Yoshi, mm. Mario, Wario, and oh. Luigi were all there. They were all there doing all those same things. Um, uh, and then uh, in Mario Galaxy in particular, you can unlock Luigi and play through the game as Luigi. I, I don't remember if it changes the dialogue in any way to like address him as Luigi. I am, I'm sure it does, but it's... I don't think it does. I don't believe it does. They call him Mario the whole time. I, I, Cause I you can still what... find Luigi as Luigi, right? It's been a minute since I've played that. Maybe I should stop talking. Same here. Never mind. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. But like, um, uh, I mean, it would still work because he is Luigi Mario. Quick. So uh, yeah. But... yeah. Sure. On that note, he has a de-evolution gun in the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's a repainted super scope. He can de-evolve Pac-Man from a spear into a circle. Uh, and Nick, don't, <laughs> don't forget so his greatest weapon. Don't forget his greatest weapon. You remember from Mario on Ice? Yes, the I do remember. How could gun? I not bring it up? The <laughs> instant what, what, exploder. What, Nick was saving what Chad, this one. What Chad deemed as the Unmaker the back unmaker. in the day. So... In, uh, in Mario Ice Capades, which is literally just 1980s Mario on Ice with the most garbage costumes and musical numbers you can imagine, it's not Mario who accomplishes or does anything. It's Luigi who has this little box with a tube on the end of it that shoots out some sparks that completely evaporates and disintegrates Goombas and Koopas and Hammer Brothers. Hang on. And I think even Koopa himself, if I'm not mistaken, though that might have been a bunch of kids that they wheeled out from the audience to wave their like foam wrenches at him and that killed yeah Mario he, and Ice he Bowser. leads a bunch of kids in killing bowser it, the important thing is the entire it's all on youtube you can look it up the entire mario and ice thing is this like <laughs> it's semi wild. extremely awkward but attempting to be whimsical mario story of them on ice or whatever and just while all of this is going on they keep introducing new enemies hammer brothers koopa goomba etc and then just they die all just of a sudden, like the one before with no explanation they're just like okay we have to save the princess or whatever and then <laughs> basically hard cut next scene is luigi has this weapon he's just standing in the middle of the ice and every single enemy comes at him one by one and he just blows them up <laughs> just gets executed live in front of it's, it's kids wild. and their families if you haven't seen it i remember God, what were we, what were we <laughs> looking into this for? A family-friendly show. For, it was for Luigi vs. Tails, way back in the day, I think. Oh, that's right. Yep, yep. And I just we were just like, holy shit! <laughs> like, it's, just, <laughs> it's so yeah, I mean, weird. Who, who knows the upper limits of that thing? Truthfully, truthfully I don't think Luigi needs that. Um, I don't think we have to dig in the most obscure Mario thing that's ever been done. I regret not bringing it in to Luigi versus Tails. Because, like, back in those days, we could have gotten away with it. <laughs> Nowadays, we, we also, can't. But <laughs> can we also talk about the... I re-looked this up because I wanted to relive the moment. Can we also talk about the fact that, like, he doesn't, like, put it on his shoulder. He doesn't, like, side saddle it. It's like he just puts it straight on his crotch. And then just <laughs> yeah. goes, boom! Like, and just blasts them into oblivion. Like, into nothing. It sparks, and there's not a trace left. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. His his pelvic region is unusually strong. <laughs> right? Yeah. Redirecting his meteors, meteors with standing the, like, the opposite you know. end of a disintegrating ray. Uh, there, there, there's incredible. something up. Are you Luigi, saying man. that his pelvic region is consistently strong? Yeah. In oh, all mediums. That's where the I can't believe I'm saying this, but on the note. From. I can't believe I'm saying this, but on the note of Luigi's pelvic region, do you remember mm -hmm. when Mario Tennis Aces was coming out for Switch and there's like some like key art that people put out there? All I'm saying is people measured Luigi oh, yeah. because of the shorts. Yeah, that's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. <laughs> You're okay. Above average, they said. We we um, don't we really don't need to make this argument go down to a dick bag <laughs> contest. Okay. I don't know, you know what exactly what you're know y'all better, I'd think that you're like bullshitting me with <laughs> It was just people so it was just people memeing. It was people well. memeing, but like I bet, she's like, I've been working on death battle far too long to doubt anything. <laughs> like, I'm sure you all oh are telling God. the truth, but also I'm astounded <laughs> that that exists. Also, it's what the fuck? <laughs> Valid uh, question. Oh my god. Uh, I have Comments one other thing on I want to bring up with Luigi. Whoever was inside those suits. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, what one happened? Other thing to bring How did they do that, Jake? I mean, it's not live. Right. Was it live? If it was live, I have no Zero idea. Zero percent chance trick. it was live. They can't know. You watch the cut. Hold on. I'm watching it. See, I just want to see if they go away. If it was it. live, did they have like a pause between each one? Oh no, the actor go no. out. A thousand the percent, happens? they camera tricked. They they camera tricked it. Yeah, it couldn't have been live. Yeah, well, how would you do that it. anyway? Okay. I'm so <laughs> fascinated Wait. by this. I wish that playing video on cats wouldn't get us demonetized. Because I just say like, okay, let's just make the rest yeah. of this a watch well, along. <laughs> cha champion cast, champion cast. We'll bring it up for champion cast. Perfect. I don't even think um, we can do it there. Can that'd we? be great. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I beg, probably mean? not. <laughs> probably saying, not. Uh, don't worry, uh, you guys keep talking. It's also, I, I'm, I'm it's also Mario throw, on okay? ice. Who's going to try to block that? Like, come on. <laughs> um, uh, all right. I mean, I, I say we give it a shot. <laughs> um, okay. So, Pac-Man can turn into a planet, but he doesn't need to turn into a planet to eat Luigi. He can just do it. Luigi Bowser ate this. Luigi once in well, Bowser's Inside Meteors. Story and spent the whole game being not dead. Um, in fact, <laughs> it survived in the end, if it's so worth. What happens when Pac-Man eats something or somebody? That's a good question. Where does it go? <laughs> he just eats it. His stomach is endless. <laughs> is it like Kirby, where it's, it's an alternate dimension? Oh, no, the ghosts come infinite? back, don't they? They yeah, have to die. Respond. Yeah. He's able to kill ghosts, and ghosts can only become ghosts again. I assume that's how the afterlife works in Pac-Man world. But yeah, in the, in the original game, the ghosts do you know respond into the middle after after he defeats them. That's the real thing, though. It's, it's does he eat them or does he just defeat them? Because in the in the OG, it's like you you hit the blue ghost, and then you see the little trail. That goes down mm. to the center bit immediately. What happens will... to the ghost droid? Oh, that's gone. He ate that. <laughs> it's just gone. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. You see him eat a lot of stuff. Like, there's an episode like I said, you can't get hungry, and that a lot of episodes also just start with him. There's so many jokes about how his like his hunger is like nearly insatiable. It's so, like they'll be like, look, we set up this entire feast for everyone in Pack City or whatever to come. And he just like eats all of it, and then he's just like, I could go for some more. You know, like it's uh, he. He can consume a lot, and that never comes back up. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so were you like, gonna say he something? Is, he is similar to Kirby in that aspect, I suppose. Although, also, oh, Kirby's I... been shown to have some limits, at least in the most recent game. I think it's also important to, to uh, note that uh, Pac-Man would be aware of Luigi's location no matter where he is, because he is, he's able to know where all the ghosts are in a maze. Easily. <laughs> does he know that? that does so the god funny. controlling him know it? <laughs> Third person omniscience. I mean, Luigi's got a degree of fourth wall breaking. Um, in the Paper Mario games, he literally jumped out of the page he was on, despite being made of paper, just as the page. Um, that's not Luigi. That's Paper Luigi. By the way, Mike, I got I got some Luigi, for you in Discord. If like, you want to pull those up, whenever you can. <laughs> We're pulling up different versions of Pac-Man. I think it's only fair to give the same treatment to Luigi. Well, um, is is the pa okay? I guess that, that that that's more so what I meant by my question of like, what is Pac-Man? 
is the Pac-Man in Pac-Man world the same Pac-Man that you would control in the 80s arcade game? Like, are, are they supposed to be the same entity? Ooh. Or is this a different kind of hack? Is he like a descendant in the show? I think in the like, show, it's work? just before he becomes an adult and a father. So I'm it's pretty a prequel. Sure that's it's the a timeline. prequel. Yeah. So eventually, Pac-Man loses his legs and arms. That's the what adulthood looks like <laughs> for the Pac people. Yeah. Well, then that also, it's up. not it's not just the OG uh, arcade game. There's also the original Hanna Barbera TV show that that also came out. I forget what year, but also pretty early. And in that, I'm sorry. Hang that. on. What? There's a there's a there's a what? There is a Hanna Barbera Pac-Man show. I kind of it's remember old, seeing that a little bit, but it's real. It's I where they that. established art, I didn't all realize. of like that Pac-Man, like lives in his own little town. That he has, you know, Ms. Pac-Man. That they have Pac-Man Junior. Like it is, it is the show. of Pac-Man is an adult man that is a father that has a family, and he must protect that family from ghosts. Like that, that is the OG show. I will oh protect this family. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, also real quick just because i want you guys to see this and i want people who are too lazy to go look it up when they're watching uh let's get mike can we pull up number one so here we have our little parent Beyond maker yep <laughs> who is looking on in horror at his upcoming demise from luigi's box at of the, at just the, death. the pelvic gun the right, so next frame please so that's it going on. <laughs> okay. Oh, the power of jump cuts. And then, and then, uh, can we go to the next frame, please? He's that done. shit is gone. <laughs> like, <laughs> sparks are still raining. Not a piece is remaining. <laughs> like, and it's it's great because the kids like, yeah. yeah oh yeah, like, there's like children yeah, cheering. Take the whole a time. bow. Take a bow. Let me. You want to see me do it again? Yeah. Now imagine that happening yeah. twenty times in a row. <laughs> Like Goomba he comes out, boom. Goomba comes out, boom. Hammer Brother comes out. Boom. It's like that yep. we're doing that show like in the moment they haven't planned anything, and they're like, "Oh, the kids are eating it up. Let's do it again." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's unmake everyone. <laughs> Everybody does. I think. Louis and then, well, then they bring out the kids, and I think they give the kids like magic wands or something, and then they all team up <laughs> to blow up Bowser. <laughs> Or King Koopa, who's played uh, by suffers the same fate, dude in green face. So, yeah. So no, what no you're costume, saying is, no what you're costume. saying is that Luigi Mask. couldn't take on Bowser by himself, but he needed help from the audience. That's, That's what you're true. Saying. That is true. He needed help from the audience to take down King Koopa, despite yeah, having instance. the Unmaker, the most powerful weapon <laughs> God has ever invented. <laughs> wow. In that instance, by the way, I'm skimming through a uh, Super Mario Galaxy playthrough, and so far. Nobody refers to Mario by name either. Okay. Which would yeah. seem to imply that it's just as valid that Luigi could do these things as Mario does these things. It's called so, Mario Galaxy, mm. not Luigi Galaxy. Sure, but the mode is literally called <laughs> Super Luigi Galaxy. So, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm remembering now. You can find Luigi while playing Luigi because Luigi gives you stars. Can you? Okay. Yeah. So, I still the fact unless that time is playable. broken in so Mario there's Galaxy. Some, there's some reality breaking there. Yeah, maybe there's some reality breaking going on. Uh, I mean, R Rosalina does reset the universe at the end. Um, but uh, I did see Aaron. You put you posted an image, so Mike, we yeah, can pull that one we up can pull as well. That up. When we're done, when we're done pulling this, that's up. the old show. That's oh, amazing. Yeah. Is the Pack baby. Show. That's right. I remember the cat. the cat and the dog. That's what it really like. Yeah. And maybe remember I've seen something of that. I, I I feel like I've seen this art before, but I guess I always thought it was I think Captain I've seen N it on something. an arcade. I a thought lot it was just of, a like lot arcade. of this art was also put on the side of the arcade games. Okay, that's what I'm probably thinking of. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, you mentioned reality stuff to uh, a second ago. On that note, um in Mario and Luigi Dream Team, a lot of the game takes place in Luigi's dreams, obviously. But it's worth noting that in Mario Party 5, there's a place called the Dream Depot, which is like, as far as I understand, a literal geographical, physical place where dreams take place. And it actually exists. Like, you could just go there. With that in mind, Luigi, in his dreams, did stuff like jumped to a constellation in the distance in like a second. 
and became the constellation. So I realize that's kind of maybe looking at Luigi at a very high end of things, but it's worth pointing out that there, there's, a, there's precedent, there's a premise that would mean that uh, the things that Luigi actually did in Dream Team could make an argument that they took place in reality. Well, it just sounds like a lot of stars for Pac Planet to eat. <laughs> planets Wait, don't eat stars? <laughs> like, <laughs> stars are bigger than planets. How, how big can Pac Planet get? You can eat it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we also have it coming into could, like Pac Man's like arsenal in terms of like his like hydrant, his like. A, it's yeah, uh, different hydrant. weapons they can make. And mm -hmm. those are uh, extremely powerful. In fact, the hydrant can push absolutely anything out of the way, no matter what it is. With are the, you talking uh, about in Smash Brothers? Phone? Because we literally just watched Luigi have a vacuum cleaner <laughs> vortex thing that has sucked in Pac-Man and launched him at incredible speeds numerous times. I mean, he's Luis is building up. He's starting with the hydrant. Keep going, Luis. Yeah, Sorry, and then we have the different the, the different types of fruits. Uh, each one has different attributes and have different like ways of like being able to uh, um, attack his opponent. So he can strategize with those. And then we also have the very powerful and very deadly key <laughs> that he can get, which is, I mean, like if you take a key to the face, it's over. It's, it's over basically Pac-Man's unmaker. So we have two yeah, unmakers. <laughs> but yet you can survive the key. key. You can survive the key. Pac Counterpoint, Pac Luigi has, key has a zero to, to death combo fight. that starts off of a grab. So <laughs> Pac-Man's up for health. Well, okay. I think <laughs> I there's know, well, a lot to think about, right, Chad? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I mean, Pac-Man has consumed a lot. And you know what? I have something that you should consume. And that is the Rings of Power podcast, because they're sponsoring this episode. Uh, this episode Ooh. is sponsored by the official Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power podcast on Wondery. Go deeper into the canals of Numenor, the mines of Khazad Doom, and more with the official Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power podcast. Hosted by the one and only Felicia Day, she and several special guests provide an inside look into the epic series and what it took to bring Middle-earth to life. Uh, each episode of the po official podcast features exclusive interviews with the series showrunners, A.D. Payne and Patrick McKay, including the first full breakdown of the season finale. Felicia also goes behind the scenes with the cast and crew to bring you jaw-dropping stories and Easter eggs you won't want to miss. Obviously, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. In fact, look, this is my new tattoo that I got at extra life hey uh, looks so dope thank you i'm very excited i thought about it for a long time and i'm very happy that i got it so you guys need to check out this podcast so watch the rings of power on prime video and listen to all eight episodes of the official the lord of the rings the rings of power podcast for free on amazon music download the amazon music app now thank you guys for sponsoring this episode we appreciate you anytime i get to talk yeah. about fantasy stuff i'm excited so yeah. go check Heck it out yeah. check out the show check out the podcast Get a tattoo if you want and are of age. <laughs> I actually just uh, got a new one uh, about a week ago. Oh, yeah? Okay, right, let's go. get that Oh, is, is it still round? Oh, no, I can't see. No, it's there. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a little little beetle dude. But yeah. That's awesome. All I can Sweet. think about right now is the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what my dad said. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. No! Wow. <laughs> I can't. No, I'm becoming too I mean, dad. Help me. <laughs> it, it was only natural, Chad. <laughs> like a decade ago. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's, I'd let's, love to run through some of the other berry types that Pac-Man has let's go. access to. There's like 30 of them. Don't keep them so, buried. I'll bring them up. Uh, 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 terrible. I'm leaning uh, into so it now. <laughs> There is the ice berry, uh, ice powers, uh, flight berry, uh, immune to gravity, so flight powers. A lot of these are self-explanatory. Uh, titanium berry uh, lets you use uh, magnetic and drill abilities. There is the Packzilla berry, which turns you into a Pac-Man Godzilla. Um, there is the grow and shrink berry. Uh, there is... Uh, the rubber berry, which makes you bouncy. There is the chameleon berry, which makes you invisible. Um, there is the vacuum berry, which is pretty fun. That lets you suck in ghosts from a range distance, not mm. unlike uh, Luigi's uh, little little vacuum that he has. 
Uh, there's the fire berry, so fire powers. Uh, there is the fishing reel berry, which turns Pac-Man into a fisherman that can defeat aqua-based ghost types. Uh, That's the, the one! <laughs> Close the argument! <laughs> there is the plasma berry, which is good for uh, one uh, powerful plasma blast. There is the close combat berry, that is what it's called, uh, that makes you really good at close combat. Uh, there is... Really, really quick, older, sorry, really quick. Yes. I, I have to ask. I have to ask about the plasma berry. What does it do specifically? It like, is it immune. It is a big plasma blast. You he, shoot like a, a, giant, a giant plasma blast. Yeah, basically. What, uh, uh, okay, but it does like does it make you immune to plasma blast or anything? Like, does he? You just see him like he literally just like Kamehameha has it. He Kamehameha has it. Okay. Does it Big shoot it out of his mouth? Oh. Is it like the? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just flash back to. It two decades ago or whatever with the fire my laser meme oh my oh, god, god. Oh. Yeah, remember that Shoop -da -whoop. Yeah. wow we're we're all feeling old on this cast <laughs> hey thank you you don't know what we're here. talking about <laughs> don't, don't worry about it anyway keep yeah. going uh there's there's a lot more there's the boulder berry turns you into a giant indestructible rolling boulder there's the Gale Force Berry, uh, lets Pac-Man blow Gale Force level uh, winds uh, every time that he opens his mouth. Um, <laughs> yeah, there right. is the Planet Berry, which we talked about before. There is the Tornado Berry, which turns Pac-Man into a big old spinny tornado drill. Uh, and then some of my personal favorites at the end here, there is the Rocket Berry, which gives Pac-Man rocket engines for speed. There is the Wizard Berry, which just gives him magic, unspecified magic, so just kind of whatever <laughs> he wants it to do. I As love that. So long as it's magic, he can do it with the Wizard Berry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's also the Arachnid Berry, which gives him spider-based powers, so basically becomes spider Pac-Man. Um, <laughs> And then there is the brain berry, which gives him super intellectual brain powers. <laughs> Again, unspecified, does whatever the plot needs it to do. I, uh, I skipped at, a couple, but there's like 30 of them. Yeah, it's I'm a looking lot. at a picture of the brain berry. It literally just looks like a brain. That's oh, gross. Oh, my God. Uh, wizard berry <laughs> just gives him magic. I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to find what he can do with this wizard berry right now. I like... tried to, to do that too, and there's, there's not a lot of... They just uh, listed. Yeah, it's just listed. I don't know what episode that appeared in. Um, I'll, I'll have you know that Luigi has a direct counter to the uh, close combat one in that in the Super Mario Brothers 3 cartoon, he knows Plum Foo. He and Mario used it while underwater to fend off some bad guys. So, why is it Plum Foo? That's not Italian. Plumber, Plumber, Plumber Kung Foo. Yeah, oh. you were thinking yeah. plum. Yeah, we. I, I got yeah. that. Yeah, There's I got a B you. at yeah. the end of this. Hey, I just um, want to. I just want to point out, like, because the internet is just too horny. Um, so I googled Pac-Man Wizard Berry. People also ask, what do the berries do in Pac-Man? Valid. Does Solyndra have a crush on Pac-Man? After that, who is Pac-Man's crush? <laughs> I mean, these are based Sounds on your like search. I was expecting that to go somewhere way worse. <laughs> Like does way worse. Oh, it could have been way worse. Yeah, yeah, that was tame. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. those are the related suggestions to Wizard Berry. Pac-Man Rule Thirty. Nope. No. 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 <laughs> nope. And nope. Nope. Don't want to do that. Uh, Bye, everybody. And let's wrap well, that's up it. this cast. Yeah. Let's well, that's now, let's do find it. out who's <laughs> gonna win. <laughs> let's see which Where's one the is gonna get. Berry? <laughs> uh, that's one of the ones that Aaron skipped. Um, but it's desperately needed. So let's go <laughs> ahead and start wrapping this up. Let's go ahead and get back to that Smash Brothers game. Let's see how they're doing. How are they holding up? They are currently at Luigi's Mansion. Uh, Luigi just lost. I've smashed the ever loving crap uh, out of Pac Man. Also, the yeah, birds okay. look like they're they are refusing. trading. Nope. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. Um, okay, there they go. Here we go. We have we have one more final smash. I'd, I'd say after this final smash, oh, the we can go ahead and call it there. Ooh. He almost survived it. Yeah, I know. Um, let's go ahead and stop it here. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, uh, wait. it's okay. Uh, it's it's not it's not killing him. It's not killing they're, him. They're at very yeah. low percent. So let's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Whichever one has the most KOs, regardless of our argument, 
Do we want to? Do you want to? Do we want to like say what we feel? Yeah. Sure. 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 Validate okay. Let's do Nick that. Let's do that. And Aaron's arguments yeah. a little bit. Uh, okay. Right? Okay. That's fair. Maybe That's fair. That's fair. Um, we 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 can go ahead and vote. It's just not going to really matter. <laughs> <in the laughs> right. We're going by Smash Bros. But like. But sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Do you want to go first? Sure. Have yeah. Absolutely. Um. Look, I think Luigi's super powerful. I loved that. You know, you had the asteroid deflecting ass. That was that was really good. Um. But I think Pac-Man's kit, Pac-Man's kit is just way too crazy. I, I'm I'm going with Pac-Man. Pac-Man certainly has a lot. I do think uh, going through all the berries was 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 great, just to really emphasize how much he's he's able to bring to this. But I know Luigi has a lot as well. There's some power ups <sighs> Luigi has that I didn't get to mention. Oh, there's not enough time. Like we would ha- we would be here for hours to like cover all Luigi. Pop Double cherry, quick. the retry block. Um, yeah. So, mm. oh, Bob, the unmaking gun is so good. I know. That's what I'm thinking of. Like, mm. okay, being able to to actually fight Bowser and the unmaker gun, I think I'm gonna have to say Luigi. That's one on one, Luis. Who are you voting for? Well, I think that. Uh, Aaron made some good points with Pac-Man, with like being able to turn into a gigantic planet, and and pretty much eat anything. But then again, I also think that Pac-Man is really cool. But also then again, I think that uh, you know Pac-Man can eat ghosts, and that's really cool too. You made him in so Smash I'm gonna... Brothers. <laughs> so it's really close, but I think Come I'm gonna on, have to man. go with Pac-Man. I love that every time he's like <laughs> then again, and he just kept saying why Pac-Man's better. That was that was awesome. It was like. <laughs> yeah. oh man all right really well though. can i can mean ozzy get a vote oh sure. see and, oh my oh, god she, she knows, she knows how to do it just getting a vote yeah. as well all right yeah. ozzy and ginger are getting votes what are they voting for what do you vote for i just say cat naturally <laughs> defeats yes, bird right. <laughs> um i do want to throw that out there all cat right. naturally I... does defeat bird if they are in the same room yeah okay he whispered to me pac-man <laughs> oh wow okay i totally oh, believe a, oh but nick does have um, two uh, animals does that i was about to say i do well, have two of them you can't are, see are them, both of them but... here yes are, are you is that a real question yeah, they're, they're yeah both i here. see him now <laughs> yeah. I, I mean <laughs> they're, 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 they're extremely <laughs> chroma keyed out like impressively chroma keyed out um <laughs> yeah, we got jinjo here medley here uh Oh, by the tail colors. If you're an audio podcast listener and you've made it this far, mm. first of all, bravo. Second of all, <laughs> go watch this, please. Watch the video version. There's too many things you're um, missing out on. All right. Jinjo and Medley, what are your votes? Uh, well, I couldn't tell which one is which because they have the same voice. Um, but I think one of them said uh, Luigi. The other one... Wait, I'm pretty sure it flipped me off somehow. Wait, the way we did this, said, the way we did this last time was they did a trick, and then yeah, we interpreted that, it. How does that turn into a vote? We though? interpret, <laughs> we interpret the trick. Okay, Have Jinjo okay, do okay, a trick okay, and okay, We'll okay. interpret what it means. All right, 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 all right, 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 right. Here, let me, <laughs> let me try. All right, oh medley. Oh no! Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. Nick, Nick is out of argument. All right, congratulations. Medley default victory. gone. Okay, medley is not doing a trick. So Medley, oh, here we are, here we are, here Medley we are. votes okay, okay, okay. for Luigi. All right, so that's that. But then we've got Jinjo, and Jinjo's vote could be interpreted for, for something else. He's ready. He's ready. Okay, yeah, he, he knows what's coming. He knows what's coming. <laughs> and Medley, just right, has bird, to you ready get to do this trick? Reaction somehow, I guess. All right, all right, all right, Jinjo. Oh my God. See this? You see this? Come here, come here. here let me. Sorry to keep filling things. Let me just. He's like, well, this. you moved it. Now it's down there. Yeah, hey, let I me uncrop this so you can actually. Here, <laughs> He's okay, like, okay, what okay. are you doing? Yeah, right. yeah, okay, all right. This is adorable. Jinjo. Ready? Ready? Other way. Good boy. Okay. And Medley gets rewarded too. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. I'm gonna here. I'm gonna have him wave hello, but I'm gonna talk from the other side of the mic. You won't be able to hear me super well, but here, check this out. Ninja. Ninja. Hello. Good oh my boy. god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen. No. I'm going to be real. Hate birds. Absolutely hate birds. But that was cute what? as hell. Yeah, yeah. That was insanely cute. Oh, oh, hey, since I don't have my little like microphone filters and stuff going on, check this out. Check this out. One more trick. One more trick. Jinjo, give me a kiss. Mm. You hear that? Some of that was me, but he actually made a little kissy sound. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. You hear that? 
It was really soft. Oh, no, didn't not pick up. up. No, didn't pick up. But I believe you. Oh my gosh. Okay. He made it well, a little squeaky. Jinjo's sound. absolutely adorable. That's what we're learning today. Mm -hmm. uh, so Jinjo wins. Um, wait, what were we talking about? Okay. Uh, something about Luigi versus Pac-Man, maybe. <laughs> so, all right. So, okay, we have to interpret this. So, the first trick, spinning around in a circle, sounds very Pac-Man <laughs> oh, to me. But waving his hand, I mean, Luigi has hands. Pac-Man doesn't always have hands. So that's a Luigi. Luigi does one. the deepest of arguments. So... Luigi spins in circles way more than Pac-Man. Uh, I guess Luigi does the spin, the spin jump. It's it's part of his his regular arsenal. But his, uh, Pac Man is a literal circle, so then it all comes he doesn't down. Doesn't really spin much to the kiss. So, who is a better kisser, Luigi or Pac Man? <laughs> uh, definitely Luigi, man. Definitely Luigi. How how would you kiss a mouth as wide? I mean, Pac just putting this out there. Even if Pac you're another Pac person, how do you do that? Married. Pac Man is actually like. Yeah. Made it past. Yes, Luigi's got a significant child. Child. Daisy. Jesus. Daisy. John Lanzamo kissed. Um, uh, uh, like I'm, I'm so blanking what on her name. I, I wish I, I wasn't. Yeah. Yes, but she she was the voice of Krista or whatever in Fern Gully. That actor. They kissed in the movie. I think I think this is undecided. So we're gonna have to go to Smash Brothers. <laughs> and let's right. find out. Let's find oh, out. Oh god, 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 where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I? Where am I? Hold on. It's so sensitive. Oh my god. I just make chill out. Just, okay. okay. I, I I you may not see me ever again. All right. That goodbye, I apologize. Nick. But here Farewell. We go. Whichever one has the, the most KOs see you wins. Later. And it is. No way! Uh... <laughs> oh, god. oh snap! Oh, oh, 100 KOs! Oh, 100 to 87. I never doubted it. <laughs> Sorry, it said no call. For a second, I thought they tied. Yeah. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, funny. it would have been exactly 100-100. Yeah. I don't know what we would have done. <laughs> Bravo, Pac-Man. Good job, Pac Aaron. Hey. Just well fought back. argument. I'm just trying to come back. Yes, yes. Thank you, um, Thank you to Smash Brothers CPU. <laughs> <laughs> Smash Brothers agrees with you. Pac-Man defeats Luigi. Come on, OBS. This is actually my first W arguing for a character on cast. Really? Yes. Yay! Nice job. <laughs> Congratulations. Nice job. Well, you also technically did win the votes. We did do votes, even though it technically, I don't know. Does this count as two wins? Yes. I don't yeah. know what uh, we're I'll doing. I'll say so. Sure. Um, so which okay, counts as double, a double loss for Nick? Uh, well, Neat. all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, I'll I'll loss that that I can't bring my camera back. See? This is why you don't deserve to win. That's about it's it. Really, oh, it's a really a win if you don't if you don't win against Liam, though. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's against Liam. Really well, not being able to get back on camera does sound like a bit of a loss, unfortunately. But I, I, I uh, might, uh... All right, Squiddy and everybody else in the uh, Discord who requested this fight, thank you uh, for the very creative suggestion. I am... Uh, uh, at the moment, I'm, I'm curious what this would be like in an actual death battle, but I'm also... Have learned a lot more about Pac-Man. Now I kind of understand Pac-Man versus Kirby more. Hey, look who's back. Nick I'm is back. back. Um, so oh maybe no, Pac-Man no, 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 no. should be in it. Oh. Uh, I think it would be awesome. Up. I, I would love Shutting to up. do a death battle with Pac-Man for sure. Like yeah. exploring, you know, he's got a ton of goofy stuff. Like, you know, just even exploring the berries and like the planets that like, oh, especially Hanna-Barbera cartoon. I hear those yeah. words and I'm like, cool. Let's see what dumb shit yeah. exists there. I, I think <laughs> right? simply like, trying to I really feel to like I only scratched the surface. Yeah. <laughs> I think simply trying to answer my question of what is a Pac-Man would be like half the rundown. Cause like, yeah, <laughs> what is it? What, what are we so, looking at? <laughs> I will say I could give you just a little bit. So a lot of people are like a pac, like puck, like puck, right? That's where I came right. from. Um, but what I, I heard, Pilgrim. and I'm, I'm gonna, I want to deliver this as facts, but I'm going to, I'm going to cover my ass. So I'm going to say what I heard um, was that uh, he was created because the, the Japanese sound for opening and closing your mouth is Paku Paku. Mm -hmm. um, and then they went with pac, Pac-Man, right? So. That he's he's the he's the embodiment of the sound of opening and closing your mouth, Ben. <laughs> is the closest yep. I could get. Does that no, mean he's I, like I, I not actually a well. living being? He's he's like dark side. <laughs> he's he's the god of mouth opening and closing, and you can never <laughs> oh, kill him. Oh my god! Like the Chainsaw only way Man to kill is the Pac Man is the devil of <laughs> of mouth. The only way to kill Pac Man is to erase all mouths in the universe. 
That's what that sounds like to me. Anyway, maybe he should go you. against Kirby. It's got real weird. Oh boy, Kirby All is right. his own Eldritch God. It's got real uh, philosophical. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, everybody! If you celebrate, yes. regardless, we're very yeah. thankful for you. <laughs> yes, uh, and don't forget, we will be meeting with you guys, uh, all the members, uh, in about a week, November thirtieth. Yes, mm -hmm. fireside chat uh, to go through the second round of suggestions, and shortly after that will be the poll. We will finally decide. Which matchup you guys want us to make, di like directly want us to make, please pick a good one. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. As always, be kind to others, be kind to yourself, be awesome, and we will see you next week. Take care. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you have not seen it yet, we have a sneak peek for the upcoming death battle of Deku versus Asta that's on our YouTube channel for members. So if you're a champion, definitely check that out. It's going to be a fun one. All right, take care.